Screw it. Back from our little uh, uploading fun. A little extra Christmas gift that I gave her you. Yeah, so happy you. that you have fucking have all that now. Now you can chill. Now you don't have to fucking go in to buy a fucking faggoty iPhone or anything like that. Uh, so we are a love gun. Love gun. Crack one. I destroy your love. Classic. Classic. <clears throat> can I do? Can right, I... Wait, can I? Can I try? Are you looking at the set list right now or the track list? Yeah. Can I try it? Hold on. I destroy your love. Hold Chris... on. Okay. Is it? Tell me when you pull it up because I want to see if I can name it. Right. Okay. Is it I Stole Your Love? Right? And yep. then got um Christine Sixteen? Yep. Then got Love for Sale? Yeah. Then Shock Me? Yep. Then Tomorrow Tonight? Yep. And then I fucking fade out after that. Then Love Gun after that? Yeah. Then what? Um Julian? Yeah. Then Almost Human? Yeah. Plaster Caster? Yeah. Then she kissed me. Yeah. Holy shit. Alright, so classic. I saw you love. Good punch you right in the fucking face. Yes. And then, uh, Christine 16. Uh huh. And it's a good song. It's just kind of like pretty much any other Gene song out there. Yep. About chasing uh, underage women or girls. Yep. So it's Gene Simmons admitting that he is a prevert. Yeah. And a pedophile. Well, that's bad Bill O'Quinn. <laughs> Bill O'Quinn was a pedophile? Yeah. According to Paul's book, there was something he said on that. Oh, I have to reread that. Uh, Got Love for Sale? I like it. Formerly yeah. known as. Have love or travel, or that was gonna be the original name. Uh huh. Even though he's, it's a good song. No, there really aren't any bad songs on here. Uh, you got "Shock Me," the first contribution from Ace, where he actually sings on it. Oh yeah, I know it's supposed to say that uh, it was inspired by his electrocution. It more sounds like uh. A bondage song to me, yeah. then. Exactly. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, I'm not criticizing it. I'm, it's a great Ace song. No. Uh, Tomorrow or Tonight. Now, this. This is my favorite song on this album. <laughs> and they wanted this to be the next rock and roll all night. Well, here's my fucking question How do you expect a song to get that popular if you never played the goddamn thing live? Because nope. I think they, uh, they only, uh, well, it was sound check, but the only time they really played it live, I think, was on one of the Kiss Cruises. Wow. Yeah, so how do you expect that? Anyways, uh, number six, uh, Love Gun. I love the drums. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even if it wasn't Peter. Uh, Hooligan? Excuse me. For Peter Stein, so right? Yeah. I think it was one of his better ones. Uh, it was, uh, it was an omen of things to come for the solo album. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Uh, we won't be covering those, by the no, way. No, you'll have to go to a different channel for that. Uh, Almost Human? I love it. Yeah, I think this is kind of an underrated song. Yeah. Very good for Monster Gene. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Plaster Caster was a named after Cynthia Plaster Caster or something. Yeah. Great song. Great, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, then She Kissed Me. Original's better, but it's put up on bowl. I don't have anything against it. <laughs> like, I'd say it's way better than like Kissing Time or. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh,. Yeah, um... Overall, Love Gun is a pretty perfect album. Yeah. I would say, uh, of their... Original lineup. Yeah, I would put uh, it up there with uh, Kiss. Yeah. I think this album would be an A+. Plus. Yeah. Alright. So, Alive 2. <clears throat> 
Because there are like three songs I love on the last three, four songs I love. I think they're all four songs I love on them. I love Rocket Ride, uh -huh. Larger Than Life, Anyway You Want It, and then All American Man, right? Did you say Rocket in the USA? I did not know. Yeah, there's five? Five, yes. Those four, they're all great. I, the only one I really care for is Rocket Ride. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't mind, see, I wouldn't mind if like Larger Than Life was on a, a regular album. Eh. I don't know. I just so then as a live to really a live album because there's five studio tracks. Whatever. So true, right? Well, uh, and one sound check track, right, or a couple sound check. Tracks. Yeah. I, I I don't fucking remember. Can't get into this philosophical thing. Let's go to Dynasty now. Oh, Dynasty. Good old Dynasty. Can't spell Dynasty without nasty. Very true. Obviously, this is where really things really started going downhill. For a uh, kiss. I was made for loving you. Eh. It, it falls in the same vein as rock and roll all night. Actually, this may be blasphemous, and I know Yeah. it's a disco song, but I actually... And I know Ace hates it, but I actually think this is actually... A really good what, song? Yeah, if you get over the whole Kiss Stewie disco, but... No, see, I don't care about the song like that. I'm just saying, uh, as a whole of the Dynasty album, it's like... Because, okay. like, there's better, there's better, you know... Like, I like Magic Touch way more than I like I Was Made For Loving You. Yeah. I know that that's... This the is where Ace Boy really comes out, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2000 Man. Classic. Classic. Yes. I especially love the unplugged version. Yeah. Where Ace keeps fucking it's up. It's like, how is that even a fucking Rolling Stone song? It should just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 sure know something. Um, you don't like it, but I do. I really it's... like that. Boom. Boom. I've been up and down, I've been down. All right, anyway. It's a good song. By no means bad. Right? You could say that. Like, by no means... Like a bad song. It just, just not just doesn't tickle you the right yeah. way. Dirty Living. The okay, so that's like the counter counter track or the other track to Black Diamond, in my opinion. Great song. One of Peter's best. You know what? Fuck it. It's my favorite Peter song. I know he's gonna say, What about Black Diamond? Just like no. It's probably my favorite Peter song. Right there. Yeah, well technically Paul wrote it, but Right, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I like the I like the line uh was it all the people? Let me bleed. Yeah. Yeah. People all around me. Let, let me bleed. Out of the street. And it, yeah. it's so good for like the whole fucking alley cat cat thing. Yeah. You no, know, actually, I didn't it's like. like you, they should have put that in the, the movie Cats. Fucking a cat singing that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't like this song at first, but it, it has really grown on me. Much like most of Peter's songs. Yeah. Or uh, although I like Black Diamond from the beginning, especially well, again, the wrote, like, written by Paul. Yeah, because I don't think what the, uh, Peter. That's like the that's like a non Peter probably some other songwriter, but there's like no Paul or Gene. Yeah, near that or Hooligan. Right? Yeah, because it was him and uh, Sam Pendridge. All right, five. Okay, this is a song that I absolutely despised. Charisma. But but now I absolutely love it. Thank you. Fucking great song. Yes. Six Magic Touch. Oh. <laughs> now, this is probably the in the upper echelons of Paul Stanley songwriting. Yeah. I mean, it's just <sighs> no words to describe how awesome it is. Yeah. Uh, seven hard times. Great ace track. Yeah. My hard times are dead, dead and gone. But Only gone. if it was really true, but yeah. True, true, true. Uh eight X ray eyes. Yeah. I've got X ray eyes. Love it. It's eh. And then are we on Save Your Love? Yeah. And that's the last one, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then Save Your Love. It's good. Yeah. I mean not as hard hard, hard times in two thousand man, but mm-hmm. I feel like they're kind of like at war with each other, X-Ray Eyes and Save Your Love. Because it's like, I feel like it's the same song. And I think like you'd go more with Save Your Love, and I'd go more with 
Yeah, but you know, yeah. nothing wrong with loyalty. Yes, because I, I love Ace. He loves Ace. I love Gene. And we both love Bruce. Yes. <laughs> and Vinny hey. Soloing. Not Vinny, but Vinny Soloing. Yeah. Yeah, uh... Love Ace, but, um... Oh. Vinny and Bruce way better guitar oh, players. Then let's also do that, though. Um, uh, I'd say... Oh, what? Overall, Bruce is the best guitarist. But yeah. I'm gonna uh, ranking Love Gun solos. It goes, it goes, it goes. Vinny, Bruce, Ace, Tommy. There we go. <laughs> because Vinny just had the best fucking solo on Love Gun. Yeah. Like, remember we, we looked that up that one day and you fight and you're like, fuck, Vinny just fucking killing it, killing it, making it. The, it's bitch. He just. So then, are we gonna save Unmasked for next time? Oh, you, yes, we're going to save Unmasked because I want to do the whole, you know, from 1980, 1989, because we go Unmasked all the way to Hot in the Shade. But I do, I was thinking about this before you came over because I knew you were going to like, oh, we might want to go into it. all the 80s ones. I do just have to fucking say how awesome of a track Naked City is. Like, yeah, fuck it. In the epitome of the weird Gene songs and the, again, this will be like oh, completely separate video but when we get to the 90s what there's three albums in the 90s revenge carnival and the psycho right yeah just that carnival album that's fucking gene simmons bitch he just yeah. he comes the fuck out on that album like fuck yeah definitely gene should have started his own grunge band or something <laughs> in the uh, 90s because he would have had a lot of fun yeah I, I, yeah i never got that though i never got why it, like they were all Glam, you know, in in the eighties, like mm -hmm. because Gene was checked out. But I I've, I've always wondered it probably it probably it definitely wouldn't have happened. But I've always wondered if Gene say Gene was actually way more present. Do you think Gene would want to be doing the all the glammy stuff, or do you think he'd be want to doing like the heavier stuff, like the the Anthrax and the Slayer and all? Because he likes have like he's into weird shit, mm -hmm. and Iron Maiden and all that. So. I think you would have been into the heavier stuff. Yeah. Imagine Kiss all fucking heavy. Well, that's what we're, me and Nick are trying to do. It's like, we want to be Kiss, but like... Well, I think the stuff. heaviest... Well, I mean, there were some lighty, light stuff, but I think yeah. Carnival is probably well, like... It is the heaviest, yeah, because yeah. they're all in like C-tuning, too. But no, what I'm saying is like, we we want to be Kiss, but evil Kiss. like Yeah. With the black metal aesthetics, we don't want your money. We don't want anything. Just listen to our fucking music, and that's it. Look at us, but don't approach us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Finish that up. So, 